you now WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at Medfield Heights Elementary with an update from the mayor on heating repair efforts in city schools. Good afternoon, Mike. Good afternoon, Jessica. Good afternoon, everybody. All city schools will be dismissing early because of those expected icy conditions. But the bigger problem here is the long term heating issues inside schools and why so many children had to endure 30 and 40 degree classrooms. Who's being held accountable for that? I just want to thank the mayor, certainly to Dr. Sandalises and her leadership. It got done because of the people that you see standing here. Officials praised each other at a press conference this morning, saying they worked around the clock over the weekend to get a majority of Baltimore City school buildings open. After videos and photos of children shivering in cold classrooms with sub freezing temperatures outside and deplorable maintenance received national attention last week. I don't have time to sit around and figure out who's in charge. Um, pulling all agencies, whoever wants to help. It's a good thing that they are um, getting their schools together for the kids to come back to school. Yet today, eight schools either closed or released early because of heating problems and broken pipes. At Lakewood Elementary, a pipe burst as children were heading into classes. It's messing up the kids' education for the day. They need, to, they need their education to learn, to get what they got going on. The mayor spoke this morning about the need for schools to be replaced in the long term. The fact of the matter is the reason we're closing many of these schools is because they're not fit for our children to go into. And she says she's seeking federal help for the city's aging systems. We have an infrastructure problem in this city. There's no question about it. We have some of the oldest pipes in the country, mm -hmm. over 100 years old. We're under a federal mandate to fix those pipes. You know, that's an infrastructure issue. The city school's CEO talked about the unprecedented length of the cold spell that we've had, but we haven't heard the last of this issue. By the way, rec centers will be open today with food for children who are let out early. Reporting live in Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Yeah, so many of those kids rely on those school lunches. Mike, thank you.